Dear colleagues, in this video, we are going to see use of tree chopper, use of coaxial irrigation aspiration, and how to enlarge a small rexis after implantation of the intraocular lens. In this case, the main incision has been made by this time. The antechamber has been filled up with visco. Now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 90 degree away and with the help of uh, uterator forceps capsulorexis is being done. The tip of the uterator raises a capsular tag, the capsular tag is guided anticlockwise and a continuous curvilinear capsulorexis is done. In this case, the rexis has become small. However, I didn't want to enlarge the rexis at this time. Let me see if I can preach off the nucleus with this very small rexis. So here goes my pre-chopper, Mohanta's pre-chopper. It is embedded in the substance of the nucleus. The sustainer hooks the opposite equator and the nucleus is chopped into three pieces. Visco again. Now the FECO needle is introduced with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and then one free nuclear fragment is emulsified. Then the other free nuclear fragment. These two fragments are from one of the heminuclei. And now we come to the other heminucleus, pierce it at the middle and the sustainer divides it into two pieces. Each piece is then emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 60%. Fluorite is 45 ml per minute and Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the last epinuclear shell. Once this is removed, we are done with the nucleus management. We can see some cortex and a small epinuclear piece. And the epinuclear piece comes out by visco expression. And now I take the coaxial irrigation aspiration and remove the cortex. And now the posterior capsule is polished by the irrigating probe. The irrigating jet of fluid is swept over the posterior capsule and the posterior capsule becomes very clean. Then the capsular bag as well as the antechamber is filled up with visco. The main wound is enlarged a little bit. So the size of the wound which was initially 2.8 millimeter is now about 3 millimeter. Now here goes the intraocular lens. This is a this is a plate haptic intraocular lens from JAIS. It is known as Asfina 404. 
the lens has gone in the capsular bag the lens has been dialed and oriented in such a way that i can go behind the lens and before cleaning the visco out i want to enlarge the rexis because it has become really small size of the rexis has become about 4.2 mm to 5 or 4.5 mm i want to enlarge it a bit so i make a nick at around 2 o'clock and go clockwise and enlarge it still some more enlargement is to be done so hold the capsule tag and enlarge it even after this enlargement the optic is being covered by the rexis all around now i go behind the lens and irrigate so that all the visco from the capsular bag comes out then i irrigate the anterior chamber and finally i come out and use the irrigation aspiration cannuli for more thorough cleaning use the irrigation through the main wound and aspiration through the side port watch that the anterior wall is gently lifted up to maintain the anterior chamber depth this is moxi the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time a gentle stream of fluid is directed towards the corneal endothelium and whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence